Hello, and welcome to Doors.net Block Enrollment. This video will demonstrate the proper procedure for enrolling a consecutive series of Carry MS, Carry NXT, and 26 bit Wigan format credentials. Note if you are using Appliance Edition or Standard Edition Doors.net software, you must enable Advanced View before starting the enrollment. Click on the View tab. Click on the Advanced View button. Enter the password carry10 with an uppercase K. Close the advanced view window. Click on the home tab. Click on the card holders button. Click on the block and roll button. The enrollment wizard window will open. Leave the default text for first and last name and template with the default values. Enter the number of records to be enrolled. Note, the credentials must be in a sequential order. Check the box to add credentials. Enter the starting card number of the sequential block being enrolled. Set the status by clicking on the drop down arrow and select Not Active. If enrolling carry MS or 26 bit Wigan format credentials, check the Calculate Internal Number box. Select the card format from the drop down list. It will be either Wigan 26 bit, carry NXT, or carry MS. Enter the facility code of the sequential block of credentials. Note, if you are enrolling carry NXT format credentials, there is no facility code required, so the facility code field will not appear. Click the Start button. A review window will appear. Verify that the information is correct. If not, click the Cancel button and make any necessary corrections. Otherwise, click OK. The block enroll will commence and add the new credentials to the cardholder spreadsheet. When complete, click the Close button in the Block and Roll wizard window. Once the Block and Roll is complete, you can open an individual record by clicking on it from the cardholder spreadsheet. Edit the record by replacing the default first name and last name with the person's actual name. In the Activation Dates section, check the Never Expire box, or select an activation date and an expire date if this will be a temporary credential. Then in the Credentials area, left click on the number in the large white box to bring up the information about that particular credential. The drop down arrow for Status and select Active. Click the Access Rights tab and select a pre-configured access group assignment. Then click the Save icon on the top of the page to save the updated record and download the cardholder information to the controllers. Thank you for watching.